Hello, welcome. WASI 2023 objective test question, question 11 to 15 in this episode. So a rectangular tank of size 4 meter by 8 meter by 11 meters has the same volume as a cylindrical tank of height 7 meters. Calculate the base radius of the cylindrical tank. So let's begin. The volume of a rectangular tank, which is going to be a cuboid. So the volume of what? Is length times breadth times the height. That is the volume of anything in the form of a rectangle. It's a cuboid. So we are going to have uh, in the same dimension, let's use 4 times 8 times 11. And that is going to be, this will be 32. So 32 times 11 will be 352 meter cubed. This is the volume. Since the volume of the cuboid is the same as the volume of the cylindrical tank, we can also say that volume, the volume of the cylindrical tank will also be the same as 352 meter cube. So if that is the same, don't forget the formula for finding the volume of a cylinder is given by pi r square a, where the r is the radius that we are asked to find, and the h is the height of the cylinder. So right away, substitution will be 352 is equal to 22 divided by 7 times 7 times r squared. I'm only bringing the r, the h, the value first before the r. Where this will cancel this, you will left with 352 equals to 22r squared. I believe we have, to, we have to clear away that coefficient. So our r squared is going to be, we you know, uh, 11 go here, 32 times. So 11 will go here 2. Go here 32. 32 divided by 2 will be 16. Meaning R is going to be the root of 16. Which will give us plus or minus 4 what? meters. But don't forget we are going to get the positive value. Therefore the radius we are looking for is just going to be 4 meters. Question 12. Abudu can weed or can do a piece of work in six days, and Effa can do the same work in three days. What fraction of the work can both do together? So now we don't know the amount of work that they are doing. So we can say that let Y be the work done. So if Y is the work that has been done, meaning Abudu will be doing Y divided by 6 in a day. They are looking for to be done together in a day. So this is what you will be doing in a day. Then FA will also be doing Y divided by 3 in a day. Don't forget they are doing the same work. This person is doing it in six days. This person doing it in three days. So the work done together in a day. This is the work they do in a day. So together in a day, what will be? So we are going to have a budu and a far work done in a day will be y divided by six plus y divided by three. This is a fraction with a common factor of three. So I'll multiply here by 2, here by 2, to have the same denominators. So I'll be having y divided by 6 plus 2y divided by 6, if I'm to make equivalent fraction of that. So I can only add the numerators, keeping the denominators. That would mean that 3y divided by 6, if we're able to find a common factor, 1 out of 2y. Meaning, they are going to be working half of the work done. We are looking for what fraction of the work? What fraction of the work? 
one over two of the work is done by the two of them in a day. So the answer you're looking for is just what? One out of two. That's the fraction the question is demanding for. Question 13. So we have to describe the locus L in this diagram. So on the possible answers, the A is say the locus of a point equidistant from XY. Locus of a point equidistant from XY. That will be a bisector of a line. So that is not the answer. Locus of a point equidistant from XZ. XZ could have been a bisector of this line. So that is also not true. Locus of a point equidistant from X, Y, and Z, Y. X, Y, X, Y, and Z, Y. We can see X, Y has no line. So there is no way the locus L is going to be between the X, Y, and Z, Y. The last one says locus of a point equidistant from Z, X, and ZY. You can see this is what they call a bisector of a line, of an angle. So we are bisecting this angle. And the angle is always produced by a line. Two lines that intersect at the common vertex Z. So ZX is a line, ZY is a line, producing the angle XZY. The bisector of this is the locus of the point L. Question 14. The base radius and the slant height of a solid cone are given as 8 cm and 14 cm respectively. Calculate correct to two decimal places each volume, the volume of the cone. So let's make a sketch of that. We know a cone will be in this form, whereby this is going to be radius, height, and the slant height producing an angle of 90 degrees. So picking that triangle from there, that would be a right angle triangle. Now, for me to find the volume, you know, volume of a cone, which is a pyramid, is one third the base area, which is going to be pi r squared, the base area times the height. So we need the radius, which the question has given us. We need the height, which we don't know. So from here, I can take this diagram, which is a triangle, L is given as 14, radius as H. I can find the height from there using Pythagoras theorem. So from here, I'll be having my H equals to, let me hide the square of that, the longest side, 14 squared minus H squared. Don't forget the formula. This is A squared equals to A, B squared plus what? C squared. If A is the longest side, so this is the longest side, so this plus this equals to this. So now I can subtract this from here to get the age. So now this is going to be A squared equals to, if you square the 14, you get 196. If you square this, you get what? 64. So age is going to be the root of 132. You know, we can't get the root of this directly, so we can maintain it and substitute that into our formula. So the volume will now be 1 out of 3 times 22 divided by 7 times the radius, which will be 8 times 8, 64, times the root of 132. So the area we are going to have 22 times 64 times the root of 132 divided by 21 and that will give you 770.32 a lot of decimal places since we are looking for two decimal places the volume could be centimeter cube so don't forget that you will not use the slant height in place of the height of the cone you need to be able to find the height to be able to substitute in order to get the value question 15 in a hall, there are 175 persons. 12 percent are children, 56 are men, and the rest are women. If one person is selected at random from the hall, find the probability that the, a woman will be selected. So first of all, we know the total number of people to be 
175. So in this case, the number of children is going to be 12 percent, which is 12 over 100 times 75, 175. Where per our cancellation, this is going to be 21. If you multiply this, divided by 100, you get your value to be 21. That is for children. Then, that of the men is this. So meaning the women is going to be total number of people minus the children plus the men. So this will be 175 minus, I think that will be 77. 77 from here, we left with, uh, so we have 98, I guess. Yes, 98. So probability of women is going to be number of women in the hall. 98 divided by the total number of people in the hall. 175. So let's say our common factors could go in there to give us 14 out of 25. So the probability we are looking for for women in that hall will be 14 divided by 25. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to come back to this place for 16 and upward. Like the video, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to support me on my YouTube channel and on Facebook. Bye-bye.